Alright, making a video. Yeah, why not? <laughs> just back to normal, I guess. Um, you know, stuff just provokes you into, you know, you'll have to argue it. So anyway, this Maximilian Rose baby appears. So there's people who, who say shit, and you're just saying they're just being disingenuous. You know, they say, oh, okay, we misunderstand this, blah, blah, blah. You know, somebody like that, you know, they'll defend something like Jill Stein, and what they're really defending is, yeah, they were pro-Trump. You know, some kind of bullshit like that. And you just poke at them a little, and you can just see that that's what's really running in their head. Uh, so he goes, uh, what's the solution? So this is on here, inheritance tax. Well, well, I've already said what I think the solution is. It's never been easier in the world to track money than it is now, electronically. Um... You know, right now we can put people in jail for tax evasion. It's, it's really not that difficult to do. Um, and so, yes, taxing it. You tax the inheritance over the $1 million, you tax the fuck out of it. So they don't even want to make it an inheritance because they know the money's all going to go to the government. So then instead they'll figure out some way to charitably give it away. Like they did in the old days, Carnegie Hall and public library system and Smithsonian Institution, and you go down and list all the things, uh, you know, Kennedy Center or whatever. <laughs> yeah, that that was those are all efforts to evade taxes. Yeah, socially beneficial efforts to evade taxation. Question mark. First, it's already been taxed, so that's the line right there. That's the you're just saying. You know, because it's such a canard. Uh, capital gains tax is such a fraud okay so it hasn't been taxed that's the whole point right the very rich haven't been taxed because all their income has been protected it, it isn't they don't pay social security taxes progressively so over one hundred fifty thousand dollars is no more um, contribution uh, based on their wealth and that's true for most you know social taxes obviously they're um, there's a fixed taxation, a fixed contribution they have to make to society based on their property values. Um, and capital gains taxes are one-third of what the, it would be taxed if it was counted as income, which it is. It's, it's regular income. They are allowed to deduct their losses from their taxes, as Trump has done for 15 years. Um, and they're, uh, they get the gains at this low rate, and there's no reason to have a low rate. If you're going to let them deduct their losses, that already compensates for the risk equation. It balances out, so to speak. So there's no absolutely no reason except to make the rich richer to have a capital gains rate that's so low. So go back to when there wasn't a capital gains rate, whether, where capital gains was real income. And then tell me it's already been taxed. And even then, I'm still going to say... It doesn't matter. That's not the issue. The issue is, is whether you should have a cheat for a race. Whether you should pretend to have something called a civilization where you say you're just a fucking elitist, right? You're some kind of eugenicist or something. You think your genes are better than other people's? I guess that's why you call yourself Maximilian Robespierre. Because you think you're some kind of fucking nobleman or something. Uh, that you earned it by falling out of a vagina, right? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> okay, anyway. And second, the rich will just dump the cash into something that can't be taxed. Well, there is no such thing you can dump it into. Again, we can, right now, uh, people can't, uh, they can't put five grand in their bank account without the IRS wanting an explanation for where the money came from. You can't just magically show up with 5,000 extra dollars in your bank account without putting yourself at risk of the IRS <laughs> asking, where'd you get the money? You win it somewhere? Where would you get it? So don't play this game. They're going to hide it somewhere. They'll only hide it if we give them places to hide it. There's no reason to do that. So again, you just say it's a problem we can't fix. It's a problem that was already fixed in 1950. And, uh, and then it was really easy to cheat, and they still found it difficult to cheat. So this is just all kind of bullshit, right? I mean, we got all the big gangsters because of tax evasion. Because, yeah, you can figure it out. You look and you find out. I think encouraging the rich to set up foundations. No, yeah, well, fuck that shit. Uh, that, those are just ways of hiring, like Clinton's hiring your own daughter and paying her $2 million. Fuck that shit. Yeah, they got to tighten up the 50C3 rules. These aren't charities. 
and giving it away to charity would be better than trying to tax it. Well, again, taxing it is exactly why it goes to charity, retard. So, again, don't get it right again. Um, but, look, just, you know, either, <laughs> look, either you get it or you don't. Either you're for a nobility, uh, you're for a monarchy, you're for some kind of entitlement based on, um, uh, you know, nepotistic family heritage, or you're not. Either you're for fairness or you're not. It's fundamentally unfair. It's silly to play some game where we can't fix this one. Yeah, you can't make disabled people undisabled. This you can fix. This is disadvantage you can fix. And no excuse not to. And to play this game that can't be done, and that's all you're trying to say here. Oh, it can't be done. Well, you, well you're really arguing somehow it's not ethical because it's already been taxed. When it hasn't been taxed at one-third the rate of real income. It's real income, asshole. <laughs> you know, no doubt about it. It's new money. It's not, oh, I already paid taxes on this new money I made from, from my, my debt money, from my lending practices. I mean, that's what, <laughs> that's what the rich really are. They're bankers. They put, what do you think the stock market is? It's a kind of bank. Uh, you know, you put your money and you get interest back. They shouldn't pay regular taxes on it. I'm sure you'll pay regular tax on your interest. Shithead. Anyway. Yeah, these people are just so fucking stupid. So the real comment I wanted to get to, this guy wrote a ton of shit. Basically trying to say, oh, nothing, Trump isn't going to do anything. And I just figured I'll do the counter argument that you don't know shit about Trump. <laughs> you just don't know shit. He didn't do... Look, he got into this because he just wanted to get his name in the paper. That's true. So he had no intention of becoming president. Um, but he's thought about it his whole life. He just didn't want the trouble of it, right? And so now that he's older, he's saying, okay, and everything was kind of, you know, going south. Um, you know, this would be a nice gimmick. Um, but he's always had it in his head. And he does think he is brilliant. He thinks he, he does think he is. All right, and he thinks this stuff can happen. And none of this is a game now. Because now Trump's invested in this game. He knows his kids are depending on him, so to speak. The Trump name is completely dependent on Trump prevailing in this presidency game. So you're fooling yourself if you don't think he's going to try to do something. But he obviously has no understanding of the system. Just as, he, just as he didn't understand all the businesses he failed at, he doesn't understand how, what makes the world run. He has no clue. He's, you know, he says vacuous things like, well, we've got to get rid of 80% of the regulation. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even, even, a, even the nuttiest of the libertarians might not think that would be brilliant. But anyway... My prediction is Trump will not carry out a fraction of his promises. Well, look, the, the Supreme Court is fucked, okay? He's already, <laughs> he's, he's, he's already carried out a fraction of his promises in, in his vice president choice, who's a fundamentalist religious kook who wants to, the, the, he, who, who expects, okay, that a just America would be teaching children in school, okay, that, uh, you know, God created you, you know, you men with your nipples. Yes, he created men with nipples and then decided the man would be lonely. And then so he decided, well, he needs a companion, so I'll make women. I'll put milk in their nipples or something. I mean, some kind of, you know, that this whole irrational creation theory should be taught in schools. This is how fucking backward this fucker is. He's already chosen as a vice president. And do you think there's any practical way he can't, uh, he's he's going to have that fucking um, f fascist religious kook looking over his shoulder. You really think he's not going to have to do all this placating to the religious kooks now that he's made all these promises to them? <sighs> anyway, if any. In the first six months, his supporters will start asking about the border wall. Well, yes, and, and I wonder if anybody's going to ask about the tax return. So I, that's the one I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for at least evidence that, yes, he was preposterously lying. It was a fucking bald-faced, grotesque lie that he told everybody about his wealth 
and he should be just, you know, that should, you know, we already know all the other lies. I, I didn't support the war, but yeah, come on. Uh, a border wall and ban on Muslims. Well, the ban on the Muslims is going to be easy, so that's going to be done. To, that's going to be done in its first day, so no problem there. Um, uh, the border wall, I think they're going to compromise, and it's going to be like the Israeli fence thing. They're going to make a fence, you know, and put cameras on it, and you know, blah blah blah. Uh, the <laughs> renegotiated trade agreements. Well, again, they're not going to renegotiate anything. They're just going to not make any new ones. And, um, you know, any new ones that have anything to do with <laughs> some kind of trade, right? Um, I, I don't think they can undo NAFTA. If they start messing with it, I mean, you know, Mexico really doesn't own any... I don't know how much, how many American companies are invested in Mexico, so that's a number I'd have to see. But obviously there's always a threat that Mexico just nationalizes all of the assets, American assets in Mexico. Um, I just don't know if they're worth anything. You know, like all the, the, the auto assembly plants, they aren't going to be worth too much to the Mexicans if they, <laughs> if they don't have anything to assemble in the plants. Um, so I don't know if those plants in themselves are going to be worth much. Um, but certainly that's the threat. So if they push, if he, if he pushes hard enough, a lot of American corporations are going to lose a lot of investment capital, and that's that's he's it's it's doable. It's well within the scope of a dumb Trumpyism. <coughs> okay, a flumpy Trumpy, <laughs> a Trumpy Flumpyism. It's like an aneurysm, a Trumpalism. Yeah, so that's way within the bounds of a Trumpalism. Yeah, maybe I'll title a video of that Trumpalism. <laughs> yeah, catastrophic Trumpalism. Um, anyway, uh, return to the manufacturing jobs. Again, so this whole idea of returning manufacturing jobs and new coal burning plants. So obviously the coal burning thing, that'll be done. It's Republicans for fuck's sake. He's got a Republican House and a Republican uh, Senate. Okay, and they'll just pretend oh, it's not that dirty, it's okay, blah, blah, blah. And especially in the states they're going to put them in. It'll be, it'll, it'll get, that'll get done. So coal is, coal wins. Um, yeah, there are not going to be any manufacturing jobs coming back because there's, there's no economy for their productive employment. They can't produce a product cheap enough to sell to anybody unless we prevent any company from importing products into America. And how are you going to do that in the world that exists? How are you going to, I mean, you know, you can barely stop people from buying medications in Canada. You're going to think you're going to stop people from buying products from Canada if that's what it comes to? He likely had no intention of doing it. Well, you say he has no intention. I'm saying the point is he's in this now. His name is on it. <coughs> and he's going to try, okay, to do it because he doesn't have any choice. There's not some other plan. If he had a good plan, he would have argued for it, you, you fuck. If he had a rational plan, you don't think he would have brought up the rational plan to sound a little bit more intelligent instead of just rehashing the old, let's just do some more taxing and... Sp no, let's do some more cut taxes and spend. Um, you know, let's just grow the deficit some more. Uh, while all is good to someone like me who... <clears throat> thinks these ideas are indefensibly bad and simply impractical. In the end of the day, I think he's going to become undeniable that he simply scammed the supporters. Well, again, the, the the scam is is he scammed the imbeciles who didn't who who didn't smell the threat coming. And it's like I said, especially with his VP choice. I mean, that was just a glaring statement that I'm not going to negotiate on anything. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't see how I don't see your logic here at all. Uh, if he couldn't, if he couldn't apply any kind of rational temperament in apply, in in picking a vice president, why, why do you think he's going to all of a sudden start being negotiating? He doesn't have to. This seems to be the method of doing his method of doing things. No, his method of doing things is basically to say to everybody else, "Fuck you, uh, <laughs> I'm the brains here. I'm a very good driver." 
Uh, here in Canada, we were watching this <coughs> sham on Throne Toronto with the Trump Tower now bankrupt. Investors long since separated from their money are left holding Trump's Inc. glossy brochure in their hand of bankruptcy report uh, from the developer. I'm struck by the similarities. Instead of investors, now it's voters. Well, I don't even know what that means. All these supporters with their excited expectations of Trump's movement are going to experience that same sense of loss when their leader can't deliver. Well, he can't deliver on what they think is going to be the implications of the actions. He is going to deliver on the actions. He's going to put <coughs> um, backward, regressive, religious kooks on the Supreme Court. That's what he's going to do. Fundamentalist interpreters. All right, that's going to happen, and that's going to be very good for businesses, very bad for social um, freedoms. He's <laughs> made promises on the drug war. Um, it's going to stop them drugs. So prices of drugs goes up. <laughs> More reason for inflation. Trump does not deliver for anyone but Trump. Well, again, what do you think is on the line here? His reputation is on the line. His name, he, you know, his kids have to live with his Trump name. If he fails as president, the Trump name isn't going to be worth anything, and that's all they have to sell, because they themselves are stupid fucks. They don't have anything but Trump name to sell. They don't have any talent of any kind. He never has. He won't start now. He's politically bankrupt. I know he's politically at the moment incredibly rich he has a republic a house and a senate full of re religious kooks who will go for anything that's why he likes the religious he loves the religious hypocrites okay the the, the sarah palins of the world because these people are perfect and he understands the perfection of them because what they do they're, they're like the black churches. They completely manipulate the dumb fucks. They, it's the greatest con ever invented is religion. And that's what Trump knows. It keeps the stupid, ignorant peasants where they belong. Stupid and ignorant and, and um, scammed. Fleeced. <clears throat> but saying all that, while I'll never carry while he'll never carry out those ideas that are clearly attention-grabbing, one of the things he can do, and what Mr. Inmendum correctly states, is make appointments to the Supreme Court. Wow, that's a big one. And as attorney, <coughs> albeit a Canadian attorney, the idea of appointing justices based on an ILA, top public is one of the received differential treatment throughout common law jurisdictions of the world. Yeah, well, and guess what? And he's the head of the FBI and <laughs> the head of the CIA and um, you know all basically law enforcement he's made huge commitments his whole uh, law and order stance I mean, I mean I heard somewhere that 25 percent of black people voted for Trump and you gotta just say how fucking stupid can you be he, <laughs> Trump's gonna negotiate you by shoving a gun up your ass Ugh, anyway he wears, his, he wears his faith on his sleeve I would expect this from a guy like Ted Cruz you know, like I say, tr Trump doesn't believe in religion. He believes that it's the great. It's a great con. He loves the idea of it. It's just, it's a great con. Uh, but this isn't the case with Trump. Trump is clearly not religious. There you go. <laughs> so you got that right. He is newly conservative. He's not. He's not conservative, in any other sense that keep people stupid. Who knows what his convictions are, or if he has any. Well, we know his conviction is what's in it for me. So, yeah, that's his only conviction. And and clearly what's in it for him to be president is, uh, you know, it's an ego trip in the first place. But, you know, in the second place, he, 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 he is bankrupt, essentially. And so he needs a source of revenue. And obviously he's seen Clinton and he'll see Obama get filthy rich, you know, after they're president. So he can only see good things happen. Well, at the end of the day, I appreciate that a judicial appointment is an appointment in effect the same. For me, it is doubly horrifying to think that such a bad decision with long-term consequences is being made in the absence of at least some moral reasoning. However, much I disagree with that morality because I think Trump is doing it all for 
the optics. <sighs> well, like I said, I don't think he intended to be president. Um, I don't think he's going to like the degrade in, of, his, of his lifestyle. I mean, he's not going to be going anywhere interesting for a while. There is no deep moral conviction shaping his decisions. He's not trying to carry out some Christian vision of the world. I mean, I bet he won't even do press conferences. <laughs> yeah, I bet. He's just looking for naked validation from a group he considers important. Um, I don't even think that he cares what the group would be. He just, it could be any group, as long as it's a group. That's all that matters to Trump. He doesn't care if it's a group of clan members or a group of tree huggers. He just chooses one and then he just... In this case, it appears to be a deep religious, deeply religious and conservative folks in the NRC. Well, obviously, that was just a demographics decision. Trump made a decision to run as a Republican. Um, clearly, the, the strongest element of the Republican Party, the ones that always show up to vote, they're always interested, are the abortion loonies. Uh, so, yeah, he went with that. In other words, I think Trump knows such a, an appointment is a good idea, but he's doing it anyways. Yeah, yeah I, I, well, I'm sure, obviously, he, okay, can get an abortion for his women. <laughs> so he isn't going to care. But, yeah. Um, and it's sort of ironic in the sense that he's complaining about the illegal immigrants uh, degrading our culture. But there's he doesn't seem to have a problem with the idea of perhaps a million more uh, uh, kids being born to poverty and to parents that would have aborted if they had the choice. So parents who don't even want to be parents. <laughs> yeah, that's really a brilliant strategy. Like I said, when we're facing 20 trillion dollars in debt. Brilliant. To me that's worse, which begs <clears throat> us to ask, why would he do that? Well, the why for either one of these people, like I said, I can't, still can't figure out why Hillary Clinton couldn't just go say, oh, wait, I'm dirty as fuck. There's really no reason for me to run to president. You know, and, unless she made previous promises. You know, like, like she made, you know, when she was doing this corporate crap and everything, she made some promise to these people, yes, I'm running for president. Yes, it's going to happen, so don't worry about it. Yes, your, your, your payment to me is valid. Okay, yes, I'll take the money now, and I'll deliver later. I'm running, no doubt about it. Maybe that was the psychology. I don't know what the fuck. I mean, the Clintons did rack up a ton of fucking money, and uh, so maybe that was part of the deal. <clears throat> I'm running for president, and she couldn't back out of it, um, even though she was dirty as fuck. But yeah, you got to ask yourself, why does a 70-year-old fuckhead with millions of dollars in the bank. Why can't they figure something better to do with their time? Finance somebody to be president. <clears throat> but actually take on the job at that age. Um, when, like I said, there's obviously none of these people had a plan. Like I said, if they had a really incredible plan, you'd say, okay, I get why he's running for president. But they're making this stuff up as they go along. Even Bernie Sanders had to make up shit. I, I don't have a plan. My plan is, uh, well, uh, business taxes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, it doesn't, if you can't figure out that businesses, uh, are, okay, aren't uh, obscenely wealthy. The owners of the businesses are the things that are obscenely wealthy. And he talks about the 1% and then he says, let's tax business. You're not taxing the rich then. You're not taxing the 1% by taxing the businesses they own. They just switch stocks, you idiot. Oh, fuck. So, I mean, not one of them had a clue. So, yeah, you ask, why did any one of these old farts want to be president when they don't have a fucking plan? As the video rightly states, Trump has no reputation in public service, so why now? Why is he doing this? Well, like I said, he does have a reputation of talking about being president. So he's always talked about it. Like every 10 years, somebody asks him the deep question, why aren't you be president, Donald? And you know, he's always like, oh, I'm too busy. I'm making lots of money. I'm rich. I don't want to be president. It's too much work. But yeah, I'd be a great president. People need to start asking this question, however late in the game. 
what is the vision here? Well, like, again, I don't think there was any vision. He's just, he, he did it thinking, oh, yeah, okay, if I win, so, yeah, I can live in the White House. It'd be cool. It'd be no problem, big deal. But he didn't intend to win. Is the U.S. picking up its states and isolating itself from the world? Its stakes. Um, it doesn't matter. The U.S. is retarded, quite obviously. It's full of a bunch of baboons. <laughs> you know, these, these fucking uh, misogynist white male and black male, I guess, looney tunes who just can't deal with the fact that the world's changing and they, you know... And then you have, and, and I guess it's some of them's these millennial retards, you know, who are just all doing the hip thing. So, you know, they're too busy, you know, twittering uh, patterns. The new offensive in the Middle East against ISIS. Yeah, well, we don't even know what tr Trump's ISIS plan is, right? Besides, well, I'm just going to drop more cruise missiles than, than Obama did, right? What, what is it? He, he wouldn't give us his plan, but you don't tell the evildoers how you're going to annihilate them. But yes, he has some plan of annihilation. It's going to be spectacular. A new trade uh, regime with Asia. Well, like I said, there won't be a trade regime with Asia because Trump has already implied that if enough foreigners own our bonds, we'll default. So he's already basically said loud and clear to Asia, um, you know, don't bother investing in our consumption if you think that's going to save your asses. <laughs> you know, so, yeah, don't try to protect our economy. Even though it's in your interest, you better not do it because we'll sacrifice you first. All right. <clears throat> We're past slogans and inarticulate criticism. If everywhere Trump looks is a disaster, then what's the remedy? Yeah, well, I'm just saying Trump doesn't have any idea how the real economy works. Like, he's going to find out that there's trillions of dollars of bad stock that has been FDIC insured. So besides the the money we overtly have as a deficit, there's huge liabilities to the federal uh, pocketbook. You know, um, so you have the trillions in the reserve accounts that are really the bank's money. So if something goes bad and the banks need it, it's really technically their money. And if they take it out, we have to print it. That money hasn't been printed yet. But if the banks take the money, it's printed money. It's nothing else. And the same is true for FDIC insurance. There's $20 billion insuring many trillions of dollars of bad stock. So wait till he finds out <laughs> what's going to be his answer to those things. You think he's going to have a clue what to do? Yeah, well, see, he's not. He already doesn't. He already thinks that there's some way we can do this tax-cutting thing in this environment. That somehow, like, somehow, you know, like, you should be able to just tell from the fact that there's no interest rates, that there's not a problem of there being insufficient capital. Clearly, there's too much capital. The rich are too rich. There's absolutely nothing to invest in. That's the problem. They can't even lend the money. They can't find somebody who's, who's a half-ass risk to lend the money to. And that's why interest rates are so pitifully low. Anyway, and so, you know, to tax, to, to give away money to the rich when they can't even do anything with it but just shove it into the stock market is just so fucking stupid. Apparently, he can only fix it... So what is it? Uh, I don't know what that is. February trying to uh, apparently only he can fix it. Well, um, somebody's got to out the game and say yes. No, the real game is going to be we're going to have to increase taxes and cut spending. So the, the 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 thing the Democrats won't do and the Republicans won't do is the thing he should have suggested that we should actually start paying off some of this credit card debt. Because you really can't live with a $20 billion fund covering $7 trillion in assets that are dog shit. I mean, it's not like they're doubt, it's not like they could, could be winner assets. No, they're dead in the, they're dead maggot covered assets. 
He's now commander of the world's most powerful armed forces. And again, what's his plan? Well, let's let's try to cut the military. So let's try to get let's get out of Japan. Okay, give them nukes. That's his plan. Give J Japan nuclear weapons and tell them to start building their own um, uh, defense industry. They're not going to buy it from us, right? So that, that, that's going to be a non-winner. The, the military-industrial complex is now just going to have another country devoted to designing weapons and selling them on the open market, which will be Japan. And somehow we're going to outcompete Japan in making malicious armaments? Not likely. Your country and the world generally deserve to know what his vision is. Well, I mean, if if they didn't ask in the one year that he's been running, then I guess they have no interest. So I guess my country doesn't generally deserve anything if they couldn't ask the question somewhere along the, the whole campaign thing, if nobody could figure out to ask him, is that it? Is that your plan? Uh, Reagan 2 or something? Or Bush 4? Or what? Make the rich richer and somehow that's going to work? However, I think we know that there is none. We're all watching his personal reality show. Well, like I said, it's there's there. This isn't a this isn't a show. Um, the 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 ruin that he's going to impose on the federal courts is going to take maybe uh, decades to fix. So now we can't expect the federal courts to protect any of our. Uh, atheist or secular liberties, uh, things like the right to die and shit are dead in the water, so those are going to have to come from legislature somehow, and that's not going to happen. I mean, it's dead. It, you know, it's, it's fucked. Um, you know, unless uh, we the people uh, start doing some sort of harder protest, some sort of, you know, we start getting up corporation ass. You know, we have to start organizing into collectives of a million or two million people and then we have to just start saying we're not going to purchase from Walmart or we're not going to do something. We have to hurt the corporations because that's the only way to get to these fuckers. Apologies for writing this silly essay but like many of you I have been up most of the night trying to understand how this idiot from an unwatchable TV show, well he's, he's, he's from a lot more than an unwatchable TV show. Again, living next to New York, I've seen Donald Trump since the 70s and he's always just been a con artist, a disgusting, deplorable, trashy, um, you know, and, and his vocabulary hasn't improved one bit. He's still just this kind of ragged, sloppy, talking uh, douche. He's just the, uh, the epitome of a douche. Anyway, uh, the whole situation defies description. Well, I think it's describable. I guess, the, like I said, the real, the clockwork of the insane psychology. Um, yeah, it's a little hard to diagnose, but I, like I said, either, either one of them, I can't fully understand how Trump thinks. How he could be ignorant enough of how bad things are. I, I mean, I'm just saying the the infrastructure is going to require somebody who can, he's, he's, you know, is going to have to do amazing negotiations with the world in terms of a vision thing. They're going to have to see themselves as part of the world, and they're going to have to see that if you invest now in change, we can make the world change, and we can make the world a better place for the humans that have to live in it. And it has to be that kind of thing because it's just not going to work. This isolationist thing is doomed to failure. That's North Korea. <laughs> you know, is that, is that a winner? But they, they have to eat grass every winter. You know, grass stew. Well, that's what the Trumpers are going to be doing and well deserved. I hope they have to chew on a few of their bullets. Fucking idiots. But anyway, yeah, there's nothing good to say. Start thinking about it. You just start thinking about it. Yeah, it's <laughs> well, yeah, why don't we just declare war on each other and say fuck it. Give everybody a gun and let's just start shooting. You just can't hit the wrong target. Anyway. 
Yeah, till next time. Such. So